Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now we are going to discuss about the project Achieving Ultra Reliable Communication in 5G Network yeah, Dependability, Perceptive, Availability Analysis in a Space Domain Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process Ultra Reliable Communication play a very important role in 5G Network Communication for providing the services anywhere and anytime to the end users the whole network is categorized based on the Wernai translations and Poisson's points process based on the two categories such as the homogeneous network and then the another one as the heterogeneous network. So homogeneous network operates under the same type of cells. Heterogeneous network uh, operate under the different type of cells. Hence these are the about two type of networks homogeneous and heterogeneous so the finally the homogeneous and heterogeneous performance will be evaluated based on the performance parameters like bit error rate in case if the error rate is low means the performance of the process will be improved in case the error rate is high means the performance of the process will be the low so the overall process is used to detect the cell transmits and then the network reliability and now we're going to discuss about the flow diagram of the process this is the overall working flow of this process the project consists the modules such as the ultra reliable communication in space domain which having the first stage of the input then the network is divided into two groups then trade off then finally level of availability so first of all i will explain from the top of the flow diagram first of all the ultra reliable communication in space domain the nodes will be deployed and then the Vernai diagram will be plotted as per the nodes. Then it will be split into two groups. One as the homogeneous network, then the another one as the heterogeneous network. So in this homogeneity network, first of all the cell availability and unavailability will be estimated. If the cell is available means the networks will be transmit. If the cell is unavailable means the network will not be transmit. Then the we have to find the second stage of the project that is the after the cell availability we have to find out the system availability and unavailability so similar to that we have segregated the flow into one heterogeneous also so in this heterogeneous network we have to predict the cell availability for the net heterogeneous as well as the system availability for the heterogeneous maybe the cell and the system may be the available or else the unavailable based on that the code will be generated then the trade-off will be estimated the equations of the trade-off will be plotted here then the guaranteed level of availability will be there so the, this is the main important steps in this step the guaranteed level of availability is assumed to transmit the data without any lagging of data now we are going to discuss about the initial running procedure of the process at first open the matlab 2015b and change the current directory if you want to execute the process just right click in the main file.m and select the option run once you selected the option run the process will be done automatically these are the sub functions we have used in this project this is the main file once you have to click the option run means the process will be done automatically it's working under the process now the process was completed i will explain the results one by one this is the figure one this figure one represents the node deployment so these are the nodes then the sensing nodes as well as the vernai diagram is plotted in this figure one then figure two represents the homogeneous and heterogeneous of cell availability and unavailability so this is the graph for cell unavailability of the reference cell based on the base station coverage then this is the cell unavailability of the homogeneous network you can see the cell availability and unavailability the unavailability rate will be the in the form of a decreased form hence the unavailability is decreased form in the sense availability will be in the form of increased manner after that figure 4 
represents the unavailability of the heterogeneous network similar to the homogeneous network heterogeneous also plotted in the for the unavailability of the cells so the unavailability of the heterogeneous also in the form of a decreased manner hence the availability of the cell will be in the form of increased manner then the figure 5 represents the probability for providing the guaranteed cell availability so this uh, uh, guaranteed level of cell availability in the form of like this then this is the chart for the receiver 1 and 2 like tx rx whatever it is so those values are plotted in this table format thanks for watching this video